talked about how me and Tyke were going to pass off if they ran it. Um, so really, we were prepared for a play before a play that happened. So when they had really had switched off, um, I had sat down because he sat down at the sticks. And, uh, he started scrambling, so I just grabbed onto him and I saw the ball coming out the field when he got him. I know there's no way to really know until you've gone back and watched the film, but how would you diagnose how the defense played out there today? Um, Oh, it's tough. Uh, I mean, I, I think we played a really good game. I think we showed a bunch of resiliency and composure. Um, we do have some things we can work on. We always have some things we need to fix for next week. Um, but I think overall we played a pretty good game. Malachi, how, how hard was it watching another team run on your defense like that? I don't, they had 150 yards at the half. How different was that seeing the team gas you guys like that? Um, it, was, it was a little, I didn't like it. <laughs> um, and nobody, nobody did. Um, but uh, one thing we're definitely going to do is get back in. Uh, See what we need to fix, and we're going to get on it. Uh, because that's something we take pride in, and uh, we're, we're definitely going to fix it. I think. Okay. What you learn? What you learn about your football team today? Um, it's we we are very composed and resilient team. It's hard to it's hard to win on the road, especially in the SEC. Um, so just uh, for them, us to come out here and, uh, and every every play, every snap, nobody gave up. Everybody kept fighting no matter what happened. Um, anything that could have went bad probably went bad in the first half. Um, really all the way up until the fourth quarter, really. You know, we just came out and showed so resiliency and um, so that we could stick together. As a defensive player, when you watch Brock Bowers, just what what do you think when you're watching him play football? Um, I personally don't think he's human. Uh, he, uh, he's very special. Um, I'm very grateful being the same team that I'm going against him every day. It only makes him better, and it makes him better, too. So uh, just to go out there and see what he can do, uh, I mean, it's, it's incredible. What do you think about Carson's performance tonight? Carson led you guys back 10-0, 17-10, cool Carson. Like, what do you think about him today? Um, I, th I think Carson really stepped up in the game. Uh, a lot of people they don't remember at first, uh, but one thing about this team, we never doubted anything about him. Um, and he really stepped up in the game. Um, he was playing very well. Um, and I think that's what we need to do. Um, we need to get better every single week. Um, and I'm very proud of him. And I just can't wait to see what he can do. How different? I mean, explain to people, you guys playing an SEC matchup on the road. You guys are coming in double-digit favorites. Uh, how difficult is it is it to win a game like this? Even though you guys are considered the favorite, the number one team in the country, just how difficult is a game like this? I mean, it's tough. Like I said earlier, it's tough to win on the road, especially the SEC. Um, especially this type of environment. This is my first time I've been playing here. Um, the one thing we talked about all week is uh, chaotic, chaotic places are like cool heads. Uh, we want to compose in this and everybody was together as a unit. So just to come here and just play the game, really plan out and play that mission, I mean, it was tough, but we got it done. Did, did you they do something different offensively? Or did you guys expect a lot of the quarterback run? Because it seemed to get you guys up early. You guys stopped it for the middle, and then they started to get after it again. Was there something different that they did that kind of gave you guys fits? Um, not really. I mean, it's more just us. Uh, they played a really good game. Credit to the quarterbacks, the running backs, everybody. Um, but it was more of just us thinking. Uh, it doesn't go back watching it first. Malachi, what, tell us about the last play you made your interception. What did you see there? We, uh, the route they ran is like one of their favorite third down routes. Um, and we talked about it on the sideline about the Blue Tyke. We were going to pass it off because that's like the Swiss League for rugby. Um, and we passed it off. And he sat down. I sat down with him. And then uh, we started scrambling. And as soon as we rolled out, we saw the quarterback. And we saw the ball. And we went down. Uh, it's huge. Uh, it's hard to win on the road to the SEC, so us to come out here and just play as a unit, play together, and finish strong is huge. Fourth and nine, tell me what you saw. Um, I saw the switch route they run. Uh, it's one of their coming third down routes. We had talked about it on the sideline actually before we had one up. Uh, me and Taki did exactly what we said we were going to do. We were going to pass it off. Um, and when he had scrambled, I had saw him and I had ran with him. And I saw the ball come and I just went and got it. So as soon as he threw it, did you know that you were it was going to end up in your hands? Yeah, yeah, hands down, hands down. I gotta ask you now. There, there had to be a temptation to try to run it back all the way. I mean, was there, was there some thoughts about that as far as how long, how far you're supposed to return it? Or? I, I thought about it. Uh, once, once I started running, uh, I thought about it, and then as I was running, I looked at the clock. Um, and the dude, I had like fell in front of me, and I had jumped, and I decided to fall because the game was over. I didn't want to. What was Auburn able to do to get the perimeter that much with the quarterback runs? I know you guys worked on it, but what were they doing to be successful with that early? Well, they just have, they had a, a lot of good fits, a lot of good schemes for our backside and what we were doing. Um, so uh, a lot of credit to them. They played a really good game, and what they were doing, they had a really good scheme for it. Um, but we're going to go back and get a fix. What was the halftime locker room like? What was? Tell me what the mood was like. Did anybody speak up there? Oh, uh, it was calm. Uh, something we talked about this week is chaotic places don't like cool heads. So everybody was very calm. Uh, we know we needed to do to get it done, and we all want to go out, back out, and play as a unit. I know you got a lot of superstars on this team, but what would you say about Brock Bowers today? <laughs> um, 
I said it earlier, I don't I don't think he's real. Um, he's uh, he's very special. Um, just being on the same team with him, I'm very grateful. I get to go against him every day. It makes me better, and I make him better. Uh, so just to see what he does is just incredible. What's all the passion for you coming off the field, waving, waving the fans goodbye? What is it like to get a win here, a rivalry game, and to play such a close game? Um, I mean, it's, it's huge. Uh, not just for us, but the people that came before us, uh, the people who are going to come after us. I mean, this is one of the biggest rivalry. I know some people, uh, last time they played them, they didn't have such a good taste in their mouth. So just for us to come out here and just play as a unit and get the job done is huge.